So, let, so let's turn the page, page eight, on the last part of this masterclass. What is the future? What is the future? What are, do we have to do? Well, um, first, uh, Leiden is a Dutch city, but uh, Leiden is everywhere. Leiden also in Australia, Leiden is in Chile. Our knowledge, our product, our contacts, our relations are everywhere in, in the world. So it's not only a city, it's also a system. And we should uh, act in the city, but also in that system. 35% uh, uh, internationals in this city, um, rising, rising, and many internationals elsewhere in the world connecting with Leiden. So we have a two-scaled challenge. We have to deal local, and build a nice city, and at the same time we have to think, act uh, global. And that needs some structures, of course that needs some structures. And the, uh, the first map on this page shows you a picture of the Hanseatic League. And you know the Hanseatic League? Who knows, who doesn't know the Hanseatic League? All right, I can explain shortly. Um, in the late Middle Ages, uh, 1300 to 1600, there was an alliance of uh, trading cities along the Baltic Sea and the North Sea. And that was before the time of the nation states. Now we reason from nation states. We reason from nation states with borders and passports and wars and so on. But that was before the nation state. And we had a continent with city states. And the city states were trading with each other. I you say trading uh, with furs and wood and herring. All right, what's interesting about it? Well, if you have a ship and you uh, bring wine from uh, the Netherlands to Tallinn on the Baltic, it takes you some time. And you, ask, you have to be sure that you get a fair price for your wine after arriving in Tallinn. So it's not only trade with wine and furs and wood and herring, it's information, it's information. You need good information and you have to be sure that your tradesmen are safe in Tallinn. So it's also hospitality, it's an international standard of hospitality. And you need a language. You have to, sure, to be sure that you can understand each other. Sounds familiar, sounds familiar to our century. We have an international language, we have English. Uh, it, that, their, their language was Lower Frankish. Uh, one of the predecessors of German, both German and Dutch. Um, and it's very funny to see uh, signs in Tallinn, Estonia, or even in Novgorod, Russia, in a language which we, we Dutchmen still, can still understand in all, in all buildings. So it was a, a system of city-states trading with each, with each other. And what we now see in the city hubs, or the knowledge hubs, they are behaving more and more like the former Hanseatic leagues. They are distancing themselves a little from the national governments, from the nation states, and they are picking up mutual relations, trading ideas, trading people. And it's fascinating to see, maybe they also are going to develop their own forms of freedom and their own form, forms of ter tolerance. If a nation state are under pressure from populist forces, from elections and so on, maybe all those uh, knowledge hubs uh, together can build a new way of democracy. Um, so picking up relations, not only on a university level, but also the level of municipality and civil society with our sister cities is an important point for the future. 